Okay, so in this video I'll, I'll walk you through how to report your scores for your work in my IT lab into Canvas. Okay, so just conceptually, and I've covered it before, but just for a second, there is two different systems here. There's the Canvas system, okay, um, and then there's the my IT lab system. And you have to complete your my IT lab work in my IT lab and then you report your score into Canvas. Okay, so in this case we're gonna just do the first one but this will apply to any of the items that you complete after this. So this video is really just for your reference whenever you're doing these if you've forgotten. Okay, so um, if you've taken my class another semester, this is a new process. I no longer do the old or uh, old process from before. So if you haven't, if you've taken it before, make sure you watch through this one. Okay, uh, we're going to do uh, what's called a print to PDF. Uh, all computers now, especially Chrome browsers, have this option. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. And then we will submit the URL and we'll do that last. So now over in my IT lab under course materials, uh, what you will see as you complete work, and again, I'm going to say this, you've heard me say this before, but the trainings really are there in order to help you do the exams. And um, you can see I've been playing around this summer doing the work and doing some testing. Honestly, you've probably heard me say this for the, especially for the Mac side, the student choosing Mac. The Windows side seems definitely much more stable. But in, in either case, uh, we're reporting our first chapter one exam right not the training you don't get the points for the training although I've I will talk about other benefits to doing the trainings besides the fact that you get a better score which should be your biggest motivator <laughs> okay so we'll just look at this one so in here once you've completed it and there's a percentage here's how I want you to report it you click on these what we call the hamburger actually normally the hamburger is actually up in here this is a typical hamburger but they have it here as well so I'll call it that and so the three dots stacked on top of each other. If you didn't see that, um, matter of fact, it thinks I want to go in. So let me try it one more time. So I'm going to get that menu, go down. And what I'm going to have you do here is not open it, but view submissions. Okay, now this is good to know, right, too, is because you can report your highest score. So if you attempted it three times, two times, give me your highest one here. And you can see I started one, finished it, and then started a second one. Okay, so you click on the one you're going to report. So first you click into the Word uh, 2016, then you find the item you're going to report. Takes a moment here. Uh, you get a lot of detail, by the way. Really good to have all this detail in here. You can see uh, where things happened as far as uh, if you got something correct. What I really love as well, you can launch the training, right? Because remember, you can take this exam multiple times. So knowing which item you got incorrect is really cool. Um, but regardless, once you're ready to report, right, so the score is 76.5, and I'll show you how to put that in, but in this case you also have to provide me a file. So you come over here to print, and that will print just this one, and then we're going to print a non-editable, meaning you can't modify it, PDF file, include the headers and footers, this is just the default settings, and then just go ahead and click download. So what this is doing is it's taking that print, uh, all that information that we were looking at uh, over there on the side and it's creating a PDF file and downloading it, downloading it into your computer. Okay, so this takes a moment. Uh, matter of fact, let me move this up just a little bit so you can see this, right? So now that I have that print tool to PDF, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here. Right, so now I have what I needed. Now I'm ready to report, but here's what I want you to do. And this is, I'm suspecting most of you have seen this, but when you download something in a browser, and again, I recommend Chrome, you can click show all, and it actually shows you where that file is listed. And then you can just say in Finder, I think in Windows it's Find Explorer, okay? So there's the file, right? So print to PDF, it's print tool. To, this is just the default name. So we're gonna change this name. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to hit rename. I'm going to call it Word Chapter, or I can just abbreviate CHP1 uh, exam. Okay, 
There we go. So now we've renamed it. So now we're getting ready to upload it. And I'm actually going to switch over to a different account that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, Explorer right on here. So I have this in a directory shared with Rio Waller, right? Um, and now if one thing, and I'm not going to make this a requirement, but if it was me, I'd do this just to have less or more organization here. Is over in here, I would create a new folder. And I would call it my... IT lab. Again, I'm not going to make this a hard requirement. And the good thing to know if you do or if you don't do this, it will assume the prop the sharing properties of whatever the parent is. So it's going to assume it'll go ahead and share it with me so that I'll be able to see it. Okay. So if you do it this way, before you do the next step, click into that my IT lab. Okay. And you can see I've done a test one up here, but now I'll do it with you as well. So there's two ways to get this file up there. Okay, you can do file upload, so new file upload, or what I consider just the easier way, this is from whatever uh, Windows Explorer or on your Mac, your file uh, explorer, and just click and drag. And now I can put it in that folder. I can just put it here. So I'm going to actually put it in that folder. Again, I'm not going to make that a hard requirement. It's just an organization option. Good, good. If I double click in here, I will see that's my first uh, PDF for ex my IT lab exam reporting. So now, the step you're going to do now should be familiar because it's the concept I taught you in the um, Hello World. So if I double click on this, right, this is where Google gives you a view of the file, but the URL is actually in the folder. And I've talked about this in chapter two classwork, so this is nothing new, but it's just good to say. So if you gave me this link, right, it's a few points off because it shows me the folder, okay? Uh, so what you need to do is come over here to the hamburger, the true hamburger, open in a new window. Nice. And now you can see by looking at that URL, now you're giving me a link to the actual file. So I'm going to copy that. All right, so now I have it. So now I'm going to go back in. Now, the last step in reporting in Canvas here, we're going to submit the URL, right? And we're going to paste it, right? Now, in this case, I wouldn't, you could shorten it, right? But in this case, I'm not going to because each time in this example, they will be different, right? Um, so just FYI. Now you can put any comments on this one that you want uh, and then just hit submit, okay? All right, so that shows you how to walk through the process of reporting your My IT Lab scores into um, Canvas. Thanks.